ANC's Jeff Makubo takes over from Herman Mashaba as Johannesburg mayor. Makubo won the race with 137 votes, followed by the DA's Funzela Ngobeni. At least three DA members are said to have voted in favor of Makubo for reaction on this. I'm joined by Mike Moriarty from the Democratic Alliance. Okay. Very good morning to morning you. Morning to you too. Your members voting for the ANC. Well, look, it's obviously a huge disappointment. Uh, it's a disappointment for us that any councillor saw fit to undo three years of good work that had been done by uh, Herman Mashaba and the DA-led administration. Uh, remarkable things that uh, were done in terms of both the finance and service delivery and the improvement of the economy of the city. All of that now has been uh, taken out of our hands and put in the hands of people that are tainted with corruption. Before, we go, before we go into that, I yes. mean, this has been described as a mini-revolt. This is a, a sign of the, the enormous problems within the DA. Why oh, did they go this overstated, route? Overstated. Completely overstated. I mean, when overstated? You've got members voting for the ANC individuals, uh, individuals that have tainted. to account for themselves as to why they did that uh, they have to live with themselves the fact of the matter there's, there's a hundred or more uh, DA councillors that decided that they would stick with principle and do the right thing uh, the individuals concerned well what do you do do you want a, a witch hunt no purpose served in doing that because it's difficult to find, can't use polygraphs per se because they're not reliable. I think that what will happen is that you'll see them pretty soon because they will have been induced some way, mostly financially, and you'll see them take a position uh, at the behest of the ANC and at that stage that you'll uh, be able to take um, uh, action against them. So, so do you think it's a financial reason rather than a, a policy reason, rather than a, a moral reason possibly considering what we've been been seeing happening in the party recently? I mean, could this be a rejection of Helen Ziller and no, Herman no. Mashaba? No, definitely not. Um, the long and the short of it is that when you are sitting in that position, you've got to look. Maybe you are unhappy for whatever reason. Uh, when you are unhappy, you have to start, ask yourself, am I here because of myself or am I here because I'm serving society and the greater uh, good of what's happening both in Johannesburg and in South Africa. When you settle that question, then you're going to do the right thing. You're going to see, gosh, I can't uh, put this city back in the hands of people that have been uh, um, uh, tainted with corruption, particularly Mr. Makubo. And yet and you have, you do, and yet the DA, DA no, has helped. Uh, no, no, there's a couple of individuals. I and mean, you know, to the extent that when they being themselves apparent, we can deal with them. Uh, but in the meantime, we're calling upon them to do the right thing and resign. It's individuals and it's not about whatever's going on in the DA. They've got to sort themselves out of what they've done. They've got to be able to reconcile what's happened this morning and say, gosh, what have, what have I done? And then get to that particular position in their lives. And the no confidence vote in Tuana uh, and Chuan? the mayor there. Well, the situation in Tuana is somewhat different to Johannesburg. In Johannesburg, we were always in a negative position relative to the ANC. They had more seats uh, than us. Uh, that we actually uh, were there for three years, I think, is a remarkable achievement in itself. But, and but sorry, we isn't it? So, if I can just tie it together, I mean, this is more about you know lack of confidence in the DA, the the fact that you know this is a, a party that put itself forward as a party that's that's not tainted clean governance. Yeah. And look at what's happening in Tuana. Uh, are you talking about the particular mayor that's in, mm -hmm. well, you know that he's actually uh, on charges, so to speak, uh, in two places, the party's Federal Legal Commission and the Ethics Committee of the Council. Uh, we believe in due process. He's got to go through due process. As it is now, he's on special leave. So if you're asking what is this party of the DA that prides itself, yes, we do. And we've acted accordingly. Otherwise, if you if you thought that we weren't that, we would have tried to hide things under a carpet. We never did. Mike Marati, thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you, Jane. Thank you.